week 13 of the high school football season. That means the regional round, the final eight in each class, taking the field on Friday night. That included a class 6A matchup with Center Grove at Lawrence North. LN scored the first seven of the night, but a sideways punt leads to Center Grove's first score. Jackson Griffin picks up the live ball and runs it in. CG went for two and took the 8-7 lead. Special teams would make another big play later in the opening quarter. A punt gets caught up in the stiff breeze, and Center Grove's Drew Wheat takes it on the short field and takes it to the house. The Trojans scored 22 points in the first quarter, but their offense stalled a bit after that. LN certainly did not quit, and they made it a one-score game in the third quarter. Quarterback Montez Jones calls his own number on the draw play up the middle and all the way in. They were down by just three after a missed extra point. But Center Grove able to get it done in the end. Their big defender, Caden Curry, getting the ball to rumble in as a fullback. He scored that two-pointer early, and this one for six helped seal the deal. A 26th straight win for Center Grove. They go back to the semi-state with a 29-19 win. CG gets Ben Davis next week, BD 32-14 over Brownsburg tonight. That'll be a rematch of the 2020 6A semi-state. Ron Colley looking to add to their perfect season as the 12-0 Royals make a stop in Mount Vernon to clash with the 11-1 Marauders. First quarter opening drive, Ron Colley's Tyson Garrett plows into the backfield, accepts the pitch, and it's Royals ball. A few plays later, Royals Luke Hansen takes it in, 7-0 Ron Colley. But Mount Vernon would fight right back. Here they put together a 67-yard drive, ending with Trayvon Hagler as he would find the end zone to tie this game at seven. Then late in the quarter, Eli Brandenthal takes the snap and runs it in for the score. Mount Vernon would add a field goal before Ron Colley's Luke Hansen would find the end zone to make it a 17-14 game. Mount Vernon would tack on another score here in the third quarter. Then a 38-yard field goal would put him up 27-14. But the Royals weren't done. Here they had a late score by Aiden Leffler to cut the lead to 27-21. But then it was Mount Vernon controlling the clock from there. They would go on to beat Ron Colley tonight, 27-21. Oh, it's an amazing win. I can barely even speak right now. Like I'm just so caught up in emotions. And we've always been dreaming this high. And I mean, you can always tell the energy around us here is amazing. You, you know, uh, everyone doubted us with Coach Kirshner leaving. Uh, no one thought we could be in this spot again. But you know, we believe in ourselves, and that's all we need. Dave Marin, WRTV Sports. Let's get a look at Class 5A. Zionsville hosting Fort Wayne Bishop Dwinger. Eagles quarterback Christian Abney scored the first two TDs of the night for Zionsville. They had a 14-7 lead midway through the second quarter. Another Zionsville score before halftime. Senior Gage Banker right up the middle and right in for six. Abney would get another one right after halftime. The Eagles are regional champs again, 35-14 when it's all done. Back to the semi-state for the second straight year.